In one of my first Comp Pro-Am games ever, I will be testing out the 5-out offense on my 6-6 ISO build against another 5-out offense that includes a team that competes in one of the most competitive Pro-Am leagues, Hoff. This 5-out team we're playing against is ran by a John Morant ISO build. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more Pro-Am content because this one is going to come down to the very last second. And I also have a special Pro-Am announcement at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, AKA Double H, back at it with yet another banger, and we back with a Pro-Am video, okay? Now, I have a special announcement, like I said, at the end of the video, but basically, I was just running some scrims, right? Trying to get better at Pro-Am, and I ended up facing a couple good teams here. This is the first game right here, and you're probably like, how are you getting these matchups? Well, my coach, yes, we hired a coach for our future Pro-Am team that I'm gonna talk about at the end of the video to, you know, coach us and try to get us better at Pro-Am, and he's going to be leading our team as the coach, right? So he got us some competitive matchups, and this is the first matchup he got us, right? Now, in the second matchup, I'm gonna have my opponent's reaction oh. to them playing us, but this is the first team we played against. You see, they're calling a timeout after it's five to zero, and they ended up quitting because they saw we were running five out. Yeah, they didn't want to play five out. But anyways, getting into the second matchup, our coach got us a matchup against a team that was also running five out, led by a Ja Morant build, and this team competes in the Hoff League, like I said in the beginning of the video, one of the most competitive Pro-Am leagues in 2K. So a very experienced team, a team that also runs five out, something that we haven't really guarded yet so it's going to be something that's going to be thrown at us that we haven't really seen yet and it's going to be good practice for our future pro-am team that i'm going to talk about at the end of the video but anyways this john Morant build you see has a 94 dunk high ball handle high finishing stats i'm going up against a lockdown with an 87 block 99 perimeter 91 steel crazy stats and we also have the opponent's reaction in this video so you're gonna be seeing clips of them reacting to me scoring them scoring and stuff like this who is this i know this not double h Ooh. oh this is double h double h he's trying to get some power oh oh nah i'm locked in so we have a great matchup in store make sure to drop a like get your popcorn because this one was a good one now you're probably wondering okay how did they not know it was you if y'all matched up well our coach got in contact with their coach and, or with their team and you know just said yo let's match up so they didn't they weren't aware of who was on our team they just knew our coach so they didn't know they were about to play double h right but anyways they're getting into their dunks right john moran's five out and he's ice win i'm ice win two step back three and oh boy we are locked in off the rip oh, okay. it's gonna be a long night they they talking about it's gonna be a long night but we start off with three points early and we getting jiggy with it off the iso right so back into their offense and john Morant, aka glizzy with the crazy body bag poster i mean wow we're trying to get into our offensive sets because like i said this is just a matchup it's just a scrim it's for practice it's to get better but it's also a big comp pro and matchup here that is too good competitive teams going at each other now obviously their team is probably a lot more experienced because we're me and my teammates are brand new to pro-am but you know that don't mean we ain't gonna compete you know what i'm saying so four three there are two guards out here also ice wing he actually ended up having a high driving dunk as well but he passes out to glizzy right here and jay curry drops late shot clock horrible defense by him but hey we're all new to pro-am so we gotta we're gonna learn things the hard way and that's you know that late shot clock stuff we can't be doing that swags misses a wide open midi too so off the bat we are off to a terrible start here we're down seven to three we're missing open shots on offense we're giving up dumb stuff at the end of the shot clock on defense they're also getting into their bag on like dunk meters and stuff but that dude shoots a bad shot right there he misses we secure the rebound seven to three we gotta get we gotta get the offense going okay it's early into the first quarter and chad's about to get ripped right here he passes to me i'm always ready to shoot that thing and that's green okay we gotta be ready at all times in the pro -am because when you get an open shot you cannot miss an open shot. That's a big thing in Pro-Am. So we're off to six points, all of our team's points to start this game. And we're only down one, and we even, we're not playing good, but oh my God, that boy is cooking up on the five out, putting up another three on us with that John ja Morant build. 
but we're back to the ISO. I call a backdoor for Jay Curry and look at that passing IQ. I dot my boy solo on the wing. That's green. I knew the two guard was going to drop right there and try to play the lane. So I dotted my boy solo, hit the open man, and look at their two guard also has a high driving dunk. Like I said, he's getting to the rim too but I can get to the rim too. Look at me going to the basket, easy dunk meter. And we're only down one point right now, a minute and 40 left. And look at Glizzy has finishing takeover on this build. And that's a, oh my, almost an and one. How did he even make that layup? That was great defense by us, but not good enough. This two, that hash, he pinched me. They're running a three, two zone. We get the offensive rebound and Jay Curry with a bad pass, throws it right back to the other team just we're, we're not really communicating right we're making fast decisions that aren't the right decisions it's not looking good they hit the easy slip and now they're up five here at the end of the first quarter we don't want this to slip away early it, we don't want to play the catch-up game all game you know we don't want to be down early in the first but anyways i dot jay curry in the corner he gets the three to go making up for his mistake on that one offensive rebound turnover and solo fouls when we have no fouls to give another thing that us new pro and players are not used to checking how many fouls we have to give you know what i'm saying so that leads to free throws they missed the second free throw they almost got a steal right there i could pop takeover right here i end up popping sharp table takeover but chad hits it out to me I'm trying to get a bucket to go. Maybe trying to go for model mentality takeover. Nine seconds on the shot clock. I hit Chad. He drives. His pass gets tipped. He goes out to Jay Curry for three. And that's green. Oh my gosh. Jay Curry with back-to-back -back threes clutching up. And John Moran with an and one. What is going on? Glizzy is locked in on the ISO. Hits the free throw. And they're up three points. I'm in takeover. 20 seconds left. I shoot another questionable shot. Honestly, that's super greenable. But 2K gave me like a slow jumper animation. Sometimes your jump shots speed up, slow down, depending on, you know, the RNG really in the game is what it's depending on. But yeah, you can shoot contested shots and still get the same time. But it didn't get the same time right there. Step back three to end the first. And he doesn't get it to go 20 to 17. I'm in takeover. And I get, I don't know what I was doing. I'm just scared or something. I'm not going up with that. That's crazy. Then we throw a turnover. It's not looking good. But before we get into this next possession right here, here's a word from our sponsor for today's video. Shout out to Mini Basketball for being the sponsor of today's video. If y'all didn't already know, Mini Basketball is a free to play fun mobile basketball game where you can compete versus other teams while leveling up, collecting players, upgrading your players, and building up your very own roster. So here's what my team is looking like right now. And yeah, it could use some work. So let's open up some packs. This specifically is the Ultra Box. And as y'all can see, we were pulling some heat out of these packs. I'm easily going to have a better team because of this pack opening. Now it's time to put some of these players in my lineup. And we can also upgrade some of these players too. All right, now my team is looking a lot better. I think it's time for me to start running through some other teams. So while I'm leveling up, shooting threes, dunking the ball, and winning games against these other teams, y'all make sure to download mini basketball by clicking the link in the description scanning the qr code or simply downloading it on google play or in the app store a shout out to mini basketball once again for sponsoring today's video back on defense right we're trying to get a stop we're down three points we've been losing for the better part of this entire game but look at chad getting a much needed a much needed steal hit swags and that's it's not a bad shot but it's a rush shot and if we are going to take that shot we gotta hit it right so back to back miss mid ranges by both teams 20 to 17 i'm still in takeover i've yet to score with takeover but look at snatch back three and i miss again i don't know how he got that high of a contest on that but yo jay curry's throwing flashy passes out of the paint i don't know what's going on right now but it's not going well that's for sure i'm in takeover i kind of get grenaded so i just have to chuck something up and shot clock and i miss again so now i'm shooting 33 percent from three not the best start here but we're only down three and adopted swags ties up the game at 20 somehow even though in my opinion we are playing a very bad ball right now we give up a back door though 22 to 20 we're down again i'm at the last very bit of my takeover right here i'm trying to get a bucket i call jay curry for the back door because the guard is on him and that's going to be an easy two for us so now it's a tie game glizzy's back on his iso stuff he's trying to work for a bucket right now they got the two guard wrapping him I don't know, maybe a miscommunication because it didn't look like that's what he wanted. Now the two guards trying to ISO because he got clamped and that's just a bad shot. And that's great defense by us. We're up on the fast break, but we're not trying to rush anything. We're not trying to throw a turnover, even though we almost threw a turnover right there. So I'm back in my ISO. I'm going to just take my easy two 
get that easy jam, easy dunk. And now we have one of our first leads of the entire game right here, besides when I think we were leading three to two to start. But Ja Murray, AKA Glizzy, back with another dunk, ties it up. And we have two and a half minutes before halftime right here. And mm, I try to get to the basket. I John ball into the defender. And that's going to be a costly turnover. My first turnover of the game, though. So it's not like I've been turning over the ball, but it's still a bad turnover. Okay. Easily could have been avoided. And we end up jumping. That's a foul. 24 24, two minutes to go in the first half. The two guards trying to get something to go. Snatch back. Mini, he misses. And luckily, we get that easy rebound. And we can take a lead right here. We need a lead right here, too. I tell Chad to wrap me. I dot swags. Probably should have took the two right there. Now, looking back, we're trying to fill in. Chad replaces. 10 seconds on the shot clock. I'm trying to let him work. Trying to give him as much space as he needs. He shoots a wide three and misses it. So, yo, we are missing a bunch of open shots. We've missed open middies. We've missed open threes. We've even passed out in open shots. And now we're down two points with a minute and 20 left in the first half. I'm trying to work for a three right here. They're pinching. They're playing great defense on the ISO, but catch and shoot grain. That is in there. Come on. We're just down one or we're up one point after this catch and shoot three. And that puts me at 13 points on the game right now and 55 seconds to go we need a much needed stop right here to contain our lead john moran gets the basket though and that's a cradle dunk right there 28 27 are we going back and forth right now i try to dot swags he gets the lane easy layup and just like that we are back up one back on defense i'm trying to pinch to help solo they try to dot my guy on the wing i'm there though i'm returning on defense we're making good rotations right now we're playing good d solos in front of that he's boxing that right now i'm sure glizzy's probably low on energy right now but he shoots the three and still knocks down the shot with low energy and that's a two-point lead and look at they're playing great defense they got the wings pinching on me and he plucks me and that's off of me and that's their ball so all the momentum is going their way despite us getting a couple buckets at the end there and now we're down four points at that back door two seconds left i dot swags late shot clock and he hits a 30 something percent and cuts their lead to just one at halftime and yo we got a crazy game ahead of us. I mean, it's already been a crazy first half, but Glizzy's got 20 points in the first half. We have to contain him going into the second half, but here's what the other team had to say. Oh, uh, uh, his teammates, his teammates is bailing him out, bro. Literally, bro. If they're talking about my teammates are bailing me out. I don't know what that means. I mean, like, am I not supposed to use my teammates? It's a 5v5. What am I just gonna 1v5 the other? I don't know. I don't know what that meant, but I guess. Anyways, I go to the basket. Terrible take. Great defense by the lockdown right there. The lockdown on the other team was playing pretty good defense on me in the first half as well. So things are looking good for their team right now. They're playing good defense. Glizzy's in his bag. He's in takeover. He has 20 points. They're trying to backdoor on me, trying to get an easy bucket on my low defensive build because I am the point guard. Most point guards in Pro Am have low defense, but what a dot in the corner. We cannot be dropping on those, and we do end up dropping, and that gives them a four-point lead. I hit Jay Curry right here. We're trying to get a reset going. No, they're clamping the back door. Solo with a wide open three, and he misses. So another wide open shot we've missed in this game, and they're just kind of piling up on each other, and it's, it's not good because we could easily have the lead right now if we were just hitting our open shots. So down four late shot clock they get an easy dunk so now they're up six their biggest lead in a while so i call the rap for chad take my easy two i'm just gonna we're just gonna take our points and we're gonna try to pile up some stops here so once again glizzy in takeover we're down four points three minutes to go in the third he's gonna try to iso solo he shoots a three and oh my gosh the contested three to put them up seven i'm going to the lane and oh we put and we making him jump five point game two minutes and 50 seconds left in the third glizzy trying to break down solo who is on lockdown right now if y'all haven't already been able to tell but he takes the dunk seven point lead for them 
once again i think that's their biggest lead of the game i try to hit jay curry on the back door to take advantage of the guard nothing there 10 seconds on the shot clock we gotta score right here like we have to score chad on the iso six seconds gets to the basket he jumps and thankfully we get the layup to go to cut their lead to five points now we're getting to the end of the game here like we gotta get things going we gotta start stringing some stops together we gotta start getting up some threes and oh he pump faked that three i can't steal that though because i have a 25 steal on my build so i couldn't get in that lane right there i'm following my man on the back door they're hitting out oh my he misses it's a, like a 40 percent contest so good defense by us we need to get a bucket though here we gotta take advantage of our stops that's a big thing in this second half if we are gonna get stops we have to score so right here I'm going to try to look for a three. I shoot this three in his face, and oh my god, that's a big shot! Five thirty-six. No. The contested three gives me to twenty points on the game at this point, and wow, that is a big swing in momentum. We're down two points. Big shot. They get the little hop step layup through the lane to give them their four-point lead. I'm at twenty points right now at five assists. I'm starting to look good in this third quarter. I'm hitting Chad. He's hitting back out to me. Catch it. Shoot three. That's great. We on a roll right now. Oh my God. Brent, Brent, you calm down. Calm down. Calm down, Brent. Just calm down. The other team, as y'all can hear, is starting to get rattled. And now I'm up to 23 points on the game right now. And we're only down one point. They just had a seven point lead just a second ago. And now it has almost been completely erased because of our high scoring offense and just a string together just a couple stops three seconds though snatch back on solo and wow that is a big three we're giving up there another late shot clock bucket but i'm in heat check i'm ready to score i'm calling for a quick slip i hit solo right there on the two just in case they were seeing that i had heat check maybe they would have played high on me and they ended up playing high on me because i had a couple threes so they give up the slip so two point game this dude shoots a three over solo and he makes it again that's back to back threes for their two guard i know i gotta get it right back so i'm in heat check i call for the screen i'm pulling up for a three and that's green again he missed he missed what that's open that's crazy the other team is in shock we are up to 26 points on the game now and i have hit almost three threes i think in a row now and i almost am at mambo mentality takeover glizzy tries to get a three right back he doesn't get it and that's the end of the third quarter going into the fourth quarter we are down just two points despite all of our mistakes now down four after that contact dunk by glizzy and i'm bringing up the ball 26 points six assists i'm having a great second half right now 13 points just in the third quarter i'm hitting jay curry on the on the back door and that's easy pickings come on man i mean jay curry's like a foot taller than that guard and the guard has no defense that's easy takeover progress right now and look at oh my that snatch back oh my glizzy is cooking five point lead for them now we can never seem to get that lead back ever since we lost it and went down seven i dot jay curry in the corner and he misses and oh no at this point i'm thinking in my head oh no are we gonna be able to come back now there's only four minutes left in the game we missed that if we give a bucket right here it's looking real bad because it's hard for us to string together stops against five out just like it is hard for them to string together stops against five out both teams in a three two zone obviously three seconds two seconds we're playing great defense right now they have to chuck something up and we almost didn't get the rebound i mean thank god it was offensive interference because i don't think we would have got that rebound but anyways five point game we're down five we need a bucket i'm calling for the screen from swags behind the back behind the back i was probably open off one of those didn't end up shooting eight seconds on the shot clock we got to try to get something i hit swags on the slip and the pop oh my god the slip pop turns into a three ball and now it's just a two point game with three minutes to go glizzy on the iso and he gets another contact dunk i mean he's just been getting to the lane all game on us i'm gonna take over right off the screen and that's another three ball by your boy oh go stepped up oh, that's green though come yeah. up come up and as y'all can hear i mean now we're up but to 29 points and the other team is increasingly frustrated with my play Chad, Chad remember, to remember, watch the corner pass, Chad. His swag is going. Mm -hmm. You gotta go low. Oh, you gotta go corner. Chad, you gotta go corner. Yep. Yeah, I missed. Miss. Let's go. go.
It's like Christmas. Imagine. This kid is solo, bro. Talking about it's like Christmas when someone missing open in the corner. I mean, he ain't wrong. 57, 58. I'm getting the ankle breaker. Almost a turnover, though. Leads to an easy bucket for Chad. And we have our first lead of the fourth quarter. One point lead. You see, your boy has 29 points, eight assists. It's looking good. We're in takeover as well. So if we can get a stop right here, that would actually be huge. Glizzy on the ISO. Trying to get a bucket on Solo. Solo's playing great defense. Three seconds. Two seconds. I decided to double team late shot clock. Jay Curry jumps in. Oh my. What a terrible foul at the end of that shot clock. Leading the free throws. And they missed the first free throw. Make the second. So now it's a tie game. I'm back on the ISO. Any bucket is a good bucket. I'm in takeover. I decide to go to step back. Oh my, Jamal Murray into the Kemba, into the contact, or not the contact, but the dunk meter dunk. And now we're up by two points, 31 points, eight assists, and oh, John Morant, he went for it. He went for it all and got no points out of it. He was trying to end that boy's swag's life with that dunk. I called the back door for Jay Curry, and now we're up by four points, our biggest lead in the fourth quarter. And now Glizzy on the ISO needs a bucket, a much needed bucket, because if they don't get a bucket here, it's not looking good. And Jay Curry jumps a little too early, and they get the bucket. So now it's a two-point game. We need to get a bucket. Sharp takeover. I'm going to the rack, and that's an easy lay. I'm going to get one. Are you serious? I'm there, I'm there. He just broke me. Like, come Damn, on, bro. bro. I'm following, I'm following, I'm following. I'm sitting on his slip. I'm staying on the guard. I'm following yellow, I'm following yellow. Huh? What's happening? No. What? I mean, that's just a terrible defensive mistake by yours truly. I don't know. That was just a weird defensive three. I was like at like the free throw line and got a defensive three. That's bad. But 65, 61, four point game. It's a two possession game. If we can get a stop here, that could potentially close out the entire game. But Swags is caught reaching and they get a three out the corner. That is bad. Now we're only up by one. I'm in takeover. 40 seconds left. I have 33 points right now. So the other team knows I am a big score on the team and I get another dunk despite all the defensive attention being on me. Down, down, down. Go, 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 jump, go, 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 go. That's not a block. Oh my gosh. I mean, now we are up to, I think, 35 points on the night. This is getting insane at this point. Three point game, 27 seconds. They decide to take the quick two and they are trusting their defense. We we're only up by one point, 26 seconds. So they don't have to foul. They can play for a stop. And that's exactly what they're going to end up doing. So I'm going to, let's go ahead and tune in to our live commentary on what we were thinking on this last offensive possession. I think they want me to shoot, bro. Quick this slip, quick slip, quick slip, Swag. Oh. Got me last second, my guy. You got a Swag? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Three seconds. Oh my God. And once again, we had our coach in Discord with us. This is going to be the last play of the game. I'm going to show y'all what we were thinking and going into this play and what the other team was thinking as well. Now, this could be a potential game winner. Will we win? Will we lose? Let's find out. Talk to me. What's the play? I think I'm going to go zone. That dunk. Go two, three. Go two, three. Go immediate. I'm top left. I'm top left. Right. I'm, yeah, I'm right, right corner. I'm right corner. And then, yeah, if someone's not in your spot, just rotate over. Yeah. I'm right corner. I'm right corner. Do not let them shoot in the middle of the court. I ain't gonna lie, like you cooking this nigga for real. Like you can really score on this nigga for real. Wait, bro, there's three seconds left. Why would we go two, three zone? Are you sure? I mean, yeah, you go two, three. Go man, go man, go man. If you wanna go man, go man. If you wanna go man, go man. Uh, you got three seconds, gang. You got three yeah. seconds. Damn. I say, I say, set you up with someone on the off ball. If you can't get it, hit me on I'm the, up, hit up. me on the inbound, nigga. He missed. He missed. Oh my god, god bro. What the f Oh my Oh my That's god. not you, bro. That's a good look though. That's gotta be the worst way to win. And we end up by the skin of our teeth! Pulling through with the win after dropping 35 points, 9 assists. We ended up somehow beating that five out offense led by Glizzy and his Ja Morant build, despite having little to none prom experience, but 
We're getting more and more as we play. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and the special announcement I was talking about in the beginning of the video, if you stuck all the way through, you are about to hear what it is. And we're gonna be starting a Pro-Am series on this channel where we are going to be going on the path to the pros. Joining a Pro-Am league where I will start as a raw prospect and joining a high school team. Now in my next Pro-Am video, I will announce what high school team I joined and who my teammates and who my roster will be. That will also include a coach the coach that we had in this video and then i will compete for a number of seasons try to win a state championship and hopefully eventually get recruited to college where then i will compete for a national championship and then eventually try to get drafted to the pros where i will either get drafted or land up as an undrafted free agent and then of course try to compete for a championship there and hopefully somehow get a triple crown and get a championship in high school college and the pros so if you guys are looking forward to this series let me know in the comments down below and make sure to be subscribed turn on notifications so you can see what high school i will join and if you guys want to see any of these prom games live i will be streaming them all on my twitch in my twitch only so follow my twitch you will see games way before they are uploaded here on youtube so make sure to go follow and let me know if you follow down below anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h i'm excited about this series and i'll see y'all in the next one peace